Okay, what's up, everybody? It's uh, it's Robin, aka Robin Gaming here, with my mate Sander. Yeah, hello, everyone. Yeah, my name is Sander, or Jarty for short, but that was a joke because Jarty is just my nickname on YouTube. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we are doing a dual commentary for the first time. That's right. That's totally right. We're doing our first dual commentary. Uh, you know, we've been playing in Charter 3 together for a long time. Yes. So, uh, yeah, we were really looking forward to doing a dual commentary just to talk about certain subjects in the game. And, uh, yeah, obviously, we're not from uh, we're not from England or something. We're, we're, we're Dutch. We're from Holland. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, our English won't be perfect, but I guess it's, it's understandable, like I said in my first commentary myself. And, uh, yeah, so um, the first, uh, uh, the subject that we wanted to talk about in this uh, video is the Uncharted 3 multiplayer versus the Uncharted 2 multiplayer. Yes. Because they've made a lot of changes. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we wanted to discuss them. Uh, you're looking at gameplay right now, which is from me, but uh, uh, Sandler here is also in this match, so he's, he's just playing in this match as well. Yes. But we're looking at gameplay of mine. Because, uh, yeah, I did pretty well this match. Yeah, and, I uh, sucked this match, so that's the reason. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he was doing terribly bad. No, not really. He ended up with, like, 16 kills and 10 deaths. So it wasn't uh, wasn't it wasn't it bad at all. But uh, let's hey. talk about the first thing, with, which is uh, the loadouts. So, um, yeah, Sandra, Sandra, do you want to explain what they did to the loadouts? Well, uh, yeah, it's uh, really similar to classes in Call of Duty, for example. Yeah. Uh, you can choose your own weapons, your own uh, attachments, right. your uh, emblem. That's uh, yep. also really cool, an own emblem. Um, well, in Uncharted 2, they, they obviously had those uh, basic weapons like the AK-47. Uh, and you always start, start up with, you always start in a match with an AK-47 or, or a pistol. You know which pistol it was. That was and, uh, cool. In my opinion, yeah. it was pretty basic. And now you can choose your own weapon to start with, like an AK or an M9 or a GMO. Right. Right. Uh, that's also cool, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, you can personal personalize yourself a bit. Yeah. 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 Of course. I mean, uh, yeah. I think they wanted to to make the multiplayer more popular and by by uh, adding classes. I mean, uh, yes. uh, people people like Call of Duty at the moment, so people like classes. So yeah, they did that, but. You know, um, the, the the stupid thing about it is that you like you start off with an AK-47 if you are like level one. Yes. But and and if you get better, you get the GMO and you get the the M9 and the FSS. But um, yeah, it, it's kind of different because those uh, like the M9 is clearly better than the AK-47 and the FSS yes. is clearly better than than the rest of them. Yeah. So, uh, True. The FSS yeah. is uh, actually really overpowered. Yeah. In uh, comparison to the other yeah. weapons. So, yeah, yeah, that's a bit unfair, I guess. Because yeah. someone with a full SS is definitely going to win from someone with an AK. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. AK totally sucks uh, in this game. But, uh, yeah, I mean, in Uncharted 2, everybody had the same weapon. Uh, well, you know, everybody had the same weapon unless they picked up a power weapon. Yes. And, uh, yeah, power weapons are still in this game. And the cool thing I think about power weapons is that they are now uh, uh, they now have random locations, so they won't always spawn at the same location. Yes. I mean, yeah. Remember, remember, like the village somewhere where the uh, the hammer would spawn in the middle, in the you know, in the in the building in the middle, and everybody would go for it. But now you don't know where it spawns, and you just gotta be lucky that it's there. Yes. So overall, do you think the class system is? Is, is, is a better addition to this game than, than just the basic thing? Yeah, it's just what you like more, I guess. Yeah. And what do you like more? Yeah, that's very difficult. I like both. I like uh, Uncharted 2 for its pretty basic system. Yeah. Uh, just an AK and a pistol and uh, yeah. weapon pickups all over the maps. Uh, now you can choose your own weapons. It's more Call of Duty style. Yeah, uh, Let, let's just say that it's different, but it's not better or worse. Yes, that's a. I think that's a pretty good conclusion. Yes. So um, yeah, they they also added a, a few uh, a few more things like the body system. Uh, do you want to explain how it works? Yeah, um, the body system is you can play together, and you yeah. can spawn together if you are body yeah. with someone. Um, yeah, well, right. you can follow your mate uh, more easy easily yeah. than normal, um, and you can. Uh, help each other. If yeah. an enemy 
drops a treasure, you can pick it up, but you are not in the right. vicinity of it, so you can ask your body, moose. But you do get like points for it, right? Yes, yes, indeed. Yeah, and you can. So that's pretty cool. And I mean, yeah, but you get assigned mm -hmm. to a uh, to a body randomly when you're not in a party with someone. Yes. But um, you know, we we used to play a lot with each other in this game, so we're always in the same uh, party. Yeah. So we will always be assigned uh, as a body unless you know the game glitches out or does something weird. Yes, but because, what's yeah. really annoying in my opinion, it's the body system is really cool when you're playing with a mate of yours, but when you're playing alone, then it's yeah. pretty annoying because, um, yeah, you don't know each other and uh, when you are dead and you wait yeah. are waiting to respawn, you have to yeah. wait longer, in my opinion. It's uh, it, it's slower. In Uncharted 2, you respawn directly when the timer uh, reaches zero. Yeah. Now you have to wait. You have to. Press. Oh yeah, you have to. You have to choose if you, yes. if you want to spawn in a random location yes. or on your body. And but yeah, I I still think that it is a pretty good addition because it does like give an extra spawn point. Yes. So you will be back in the action very quickly, uh, unless your body is in combat, which will not make you spawn there. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, I still think that it's a good addition. Don't you think? It is a good addition, but if you want to play fast, then it's uh, slowing up things. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. That's. But it's it's not slowing it up uh, like very much or something. No, no, no. But you have to press uh, square, yeah. and normally it's you spawn by itself, and that. Uh, yeah. yeah it, in my opinion, it, it takes an extra second, but it's not something to really complain about. No, no, no. I'm just uh, yeah. kidding. Okay. <laughs> but uh, okay. Uh, I hear next you're thing. Owning, uh, yeah, I'm I'm pretty much owning. Did you see my helicopter uh, chase? Yeah, uh, some, just now two minutes ago. By, by Hilo. <laughs> yeah, Hilo. Just kill him. He's from the same country as us. Oh no! Let's kick him in the face. Nah, yeah. I I I guess I'm gonna kill him somewhere now. Okay. But whatever. Let's kill. Let's just, right. uh, oh, look at that! Hold that I got owned. <laughs> That's how you. Oh. Which, speaking yeah. of, that was the yeah. um, a kickback. What you? Uh, yeah, that was a kickback. That's metal a new, kickback. yeah, a new system in Uncharted 3. You got metal kickbacks. It's it's similar yep. to uh, to um, uh, kill streaks in Call of Duty. Yeah, not really. Yeah, not really. In, yeah. Instead of kills, you make you have to earn medals, and by yeah. a certain amount of ammo, uh, medals, you yep. unlock uh, some very cool things like a grenade that. Um, explodes on contact yes and that was so, and you were using that yeah yeah it's a i think it's a very it's a great addition addition but because uh yeah you know kill streaks in, uh, in call of duty made you camp and uh they were a lot uh, yeah a lot more i mean you you just you were forced to camp if you wanted to to have a chopper gun or something yes. and uh you you see that in modern warfare 3 they changed this as well so uh, you get like support uh kill streak rewards so um yeah, basically, I think this multiplayer is pretty much comparable to Call of Duty. I mean, this is like the third-person Call of Duty, in my opinion. Yes. Although I think that uh, this multiplayer is just more fun than Call of Duty. Yeah, I see yeah. we have 30 seconds left. Yeah, yeah. I, see. I think I think that we should split this up in like two matches and just yeah. uh, pick another match another time and discuss a few other things and then come to the conclusion if uh, Uncharted 3 multiplayer will be, is better than Uncharted 2. Yes. So, um... Yeah, that's it. That was a first dual commentary. Did you like it? No, me not. No. <laughs> nah, okay. Yeah, I didn't like it either. It was, it was crap. No. Okay. No, okay. You lost the match. We lost. You lost oh the match. Oh my god. We lost by one point. Oh no, two points. Do you see that? Yeah. But I ended up like 20, uh, 25 kills, 9 deaths. And you ended up with 11 kills, 10 deaths. Oh, whatever. Oh, not, uh, well, not really bad. So, this was our dual commentary video. Um, We'll see you later, I guess, because we'll be doing a few more yes. talking about some other subjects. So I hope you like this. Please like the video. Please uh, subscribe. I will provide a link for uh, uh, Sana's channel so you can all watch it. And I guess Sana will provide a link on my channel on his own video. Yes. So uh, I will publish it yeah. on my own channel uh, as well. So, uh, well, yeah. thanks for watching. and uh, Thanks for watching a lot. We and uh, we'll see you later. Yeah. Ciao. <laughs>